All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, here we go with another highly anticipated game of Warcraft 3 between none other. But here in the upper left corner, Sok as the human player from South Korea versus his opponent. Of course, the man that needs no introduction that is happy as the undead best player in the world from Russia, from Mother Russia that is happy. Big Dimmy, who's opening with the Lich. And let's see if Sok is up for the challenge. This game has taken place at Tide Hunters. And we got Archmage versus Lich. Who is now usually the meta is pretty much settled. Uh, I don't think we're gonna uh, see anything new from these two. Sok's gonna scout with his footy and then with the next and the Archmage he will either take the orange first and then the natural or come straight for the natural and then on the opposite end Happy will do the same and then whoever is the quicker out of the two will go for the aggression against their opponent A player's forces are under and Sok Starting up with the orange camp first. And Happy looks like... Okay, he's going to do the same. Exactly the same for both players. And we've got a nice little circlet for Sok there on the floor. Happy with the essentials for the undead, of course. And that's the circlet for Happy as well. Sok is moving on to the natural. Sok... Is slightly quicker so far than Happy. His hero was a touch quicker. His creeping is a touch quicker. Level 2. Second circlet. Okay, Sok. Okay, buddy. And Happy with a second circlet. Oh, gloves of haste as well. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Oh, that was actually the first circle. Yeah, I was just a bit confused. That was actually the circle that Happy picked up from here. Dropped it on the floor for a second. Makes sense. And then he picked up the Gloves of Haste. Ziggurat is going on there. The Acolyte is waiting to haunt the gold mine. Doc is building the Town Hall and the Tower. Archmage and Lich, both at level 2. Lich with a close of attack plus 5 now. Uh, I guess Happy did a little shopping from the marketplace. At the same time as we change focus with the camera on Sock's perspective of the game. Two water elementals, loads of foodies. Okay, Happy. Nova on the footman. Potentially he can kill two footmen here. Only one for now. And Sok with zero kills so far. Arcane Tower is coming up. And we have to say the early game so far has been going on for Happy. He's the one that's finding the kills. Frost Nova on the peasants there. Very dangerous. That's another peasant kill. But he's happy not getting a bit too greedy. For his liking, because Sok is dealing a lot of damage on the Lich. Forcing him to back down. Another Water Elemental. But that's more and more Peasants falling down. Finally, that was a nice Skeleton kill. Now, Happy comes back with the Frost Nova on the Archmage right away. And I believe Happy hasn't lost a ghoul yet. The gold mine is being haunted right now. Acolyte. A player's forces are under attack. In the necropolis, footman in the barrack, and now Sok is building a shop here as well. Sok with a little turtle camp here picks up the claws, cloak of shadows. Lich with a boot of speed again, I guess, by the goblin merchant or the marketplace sometimes. And now the Lich is level 3 as well, and that's Frost Nova at 2 
another farm at the expo for sock more footies and happy is going for tier two now frost nova on the footman one falling down a sock's got loads and loads and loads of them oh and happy finds another kill i think perhaps sock was uh macroing a bit more than uh he would have liked here otherwise he could have Delay, uh, deny the footman there, possibly. Never mind. Footman and Archmajor chasing the Lich. Ooh, Happy needs to be careful. And finally, Happy loses the goal. The player's forces are under attack. Happy loses the goal. He's playing with fire. The Lich is still here. Lich at level 3, by the way. Happy loses it now. That's going to be very, very bad for him. we got the graveyard and a second creep. Ooh, Happy is going for the gargoyles. Okay. Happy is going for the gargoyles. Second creep at this point mean only one thing. Tier 2 for Sok as well. Of course, uh, we are used to seeing human players. Going uh, way slower in terms of taking shop at the expo for happy two more ziggurat and an acropolis sok is here though with the footman oh sok is now trying to do some damage on happy happy's lich not in perfect condition for fighting now the healing got cancelled as well and the acropolis falls down what is the price only what footman for now versus a goo as well sok now onto the lich oh my god Oh my god, Sok is playing this really nicely. Now the ghouls are chasing the Archmage. Happy is trying to rebuild the Necropolis. There's a Spirit Tower coming up. But these two uh, Water Elementals cancel the shop. And cancel the uh, second Necropolis yet again. Ooh, Happy also losing Acolytes here as well. You can see the dead body there, the corpses. And another Acolyte has died. And also a Ghoul as well. Sok is finding more and more kills. But now his Archmage all of a sudden not in shape for fighting. He needs to be aware. Okay. One Footman goes down. A second Footman goes down by the Towers. And Happy currently doesn't have enough mana for a Frost Nova. Sok, of course. Killing the Archmage at the moment. He's got a mantle of intelligence as well. Happy, meanwhile, coming in with the fiends. No MK second. Okay, there we go. Stuck with the MK second. Blacksmith at the expo and a second barrack as well. Happy is creeping. Happy with a DK second. Of course, going into tier 3 now. Happy fool me there. Rather than going for the gargoyles, which he has been doing for a minute now. He's actually going into fiends. And I don't blame him. I still believe undeads. Fiends are the way to go for them. Fiends and statues, that's the standard. On paper, you can beat anything and anyone with it. Now the DK waiting by the shop. Okie dokie, Road of Necromancy. Sok is here though. Sok is here. Can he surround the DK? Let's see. No. He's going to focus on the Acolytes, of course. Of course he's going to focus on the Acolytes. But Happy is here with the Lich. Lich level 4, by the way. Okay, Sok is trying to kill a ghoul. Happy sees it. Denies it with the Dark Ritual, but loses another one. Of course, Sok is going to lose a Footman. First, the Water Elemental. Oh, the Fiends are there as well. MK is on the way here to support in this fight loads of hurt footman archmage and lich are going one on one spirit tower here for happy coming in oh stone bolt on the lich okay another dark ritual though and the dk with the coils of course can sustain that lich for a long time that was another frost nova those footmen are in trouble mk cannot get surrounded here that's exactly what happy is trying to do Ooh, coil and that's the first blood of the game first hero kill goes in favor of happy and you can see more and more things tier 3 is almost finishing now 
He leaned the water elemental as well. And that sends the DK to level 2. These are not good news for Sok. Currently, we got the Undead Army. Attack upgrades at 1. Same for the humans on the opposite end. The player's forces are under attack. Sok comes to the shop. And of course, he's going to start regenerating that human army. He's building another extra 2 additional towers. Tier 3 is ready as well. MK, next Paladin. Oh, we're going for Siege Engines. Okay. And the MK is being revived. Now the Paladin's on the way. Meanwhile, Happy is creeping the laboratory camp here. Tier 3 is finished. Uh, let's see. The Lich is coming for the Orb of Corruption. Of course, he gets it. And now Happy's on the way to the tavern. Let's see what hero he's going to pick up. He's going to take on the Goblin Merchant first. Uh, I'd say so far the mid game is going for Happy as well. He's beginning to take control over the map. And usually you don't want that against Happy. The percentages of you winning the game versus Happy if you allow him to have control over the map. Almost zero. Almost zero. There's only a handful of players that are capable of doing this. On a regular, that's Lin and one to zero, of course. And every now and again, at the moment, I'd say the, that's a Lulai and Fortitude, perhaps. Those are the other two players that are like getting very, very close to the top. Dark Ranger, it is for Happy. By the way, Booter Quill for last as well. Super strong for the Dark Ranger. And Dark Arrow is the first ability. And let's switch over to Sok as well. Who goes for, of course, Paladin as a third hero. The Siege Engines are here. Zeppelin as well. Nice play by Sok. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna take this Expo down, I believe. It will take much longer for Happy to take that Expo down. Then it is for Sok, and Sok is also going for Knights. Knight Siege Engines. Goldmine is down. The Rubian Tower will be down. Sok perhaps will target the Spirit Tower now. No. He had enough. Paladin is healing. Okay. Happy is still struggling to take the Town Hall down. Eventually he does. For you on that Fiend. Keeps us safe for now. Let's see what Sok can do here in this fight. Happy seems to be targeting the Paladin Coil. And that's a second hero kill for Happy. Oh my goodness. He losing, a, he losing a fin at the back though. And those siege engines, as you can see, in addition to the water elemental, are doing a fabulous job of getting rid of Happy's expansion there. And there's another siege engine in the main base. Hold on a minute. Happy is already rebuilding the slaughterhouse. He realizes he's losing that. And I say job well done for Sok here. Ideally, he would have kept the town hall as well. But I still think this is better than the alternative. And the alternative was him losing this and not doing enough damage on the opposite end. Now Happy's coming back for this expo. A town is under siege. Knights in the barracks. Happy wants to make sure there's not another town hall there. Which there isn't. And now Sok is coming for the giant sea turtle. And uh, Happy is scouting this perfectly. Kills the Acolyte. MK level 3. Pali level 2. MK are looking scary right now. I'm not even going to lie, but the MK is looking scary. Don't bother to also will make a big difference here. Frost Nova comes for the night. Holy Light only at level 1. I'd say if Sok can get the Pali at level 3 soon, then he's going to be in a very good position. Now the DK is in trouble. Info potion consumed. Stoneboard on that fiend. Uh, Coil comes to heal it. Holy life for the knights. 
And that's a dead fiend there, clap. Ooh. That was close to getting that death knight. Not quite though, and another knight is dying in the meantime. Now Sok can potentially expand there if he likes. DK. Not enough money to do any shopping. Boots are quite for last. Want that Ranger, of course. Very, very strong. We've already said that. Silence as well for the Dark Ranger, and now Happy's taking on this orange camp here. Meanwhile, Sock cleared out a little green there. Nice one. Nice, nice, nice. Hurry up, have vitality for the DK. And the other one is in Sock's MK. Paladin with the sleepers currently. Orbifier. fire. Staff of Sanctuary. Very, very important for the human. There's the second one. I'd even say get a third one as well for the pally when you have the chance to do it. And at least one more Orbifier. fire. Orb of fire now after the new. Well. It was new. Patch 1.35. Orb of fire price got reduced at the shop. But we're going to have even newer patch 1.36. Which I cannot wait to drop out and test out the observer mode in the 1.36 patch. Uh, currently, the custom project I told you guys we are having for this channel. In terms of our custom overlay and new graphics and things like that. It's currently on hold. We are going to go for it. But as far as the custom observer overlay I was thinking of doing, that's gone away for now. Nice heal potion buy for the pally. And Divine Shield comes to save it for now. First stone board on the DK. Oh my goodness. Sok is playing a very... Sok is switching into his A game. He avoided that coil with the AM by using teleportation. And basically, Happy wasted his mana all for a moment. I thought Sok surrounded the DK with the Knight. But that's Frost Nova Coil and another Knight's falling down now. Happy uses an Invo Potion on the DK. Hold on. Sok perhaps is trying to surround the Lich. Lich gets coiled though. Nice and safe for now. MK's in trouble. Holy Light comes to the save. And now Sok will have to pull the army back. Yeah, he's going to pull the army back. But Happy, as long as he has a statue, he's going to continue to step forward. We all know about Happy by now. Hold on. Stonebolt comes for the DK. Cross Nova for the MK. Holy Light, though. Holy Light. Just some time. Coil come for the Lich. Now Happy needs to be very careful with the DK. He's got no mana for Coils. Who's going to outplay who? Happy's Undead Army continues to be a level 1 attack upgrade. The Knights are at level 1. But on the other end, the Siege Engines and the Helicopters are at 2. And that's exactly what Sok is doing. Siege Engines at the main base trying to deal damage. And Sok is currently... Playing stuff that he's known and famous for. And as Remo Demo from Back to Warcraft has said. Is a toxic, toxic player. King Cancer from South Korea. For his ability to play super annoying, super toxic. And I'm happy with Destroyers as well. And there's going to be perhaps maybe a few more fly machines in response. Let's wait and see. Yes, there are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God damn. God damn. I have to say secretly. I'm beginning to get proud of myself. For learning the game. It's been a hell of a journey. 
This journey will not stop, guys. Oh, Ang of Reincarnation. Hold on a minute. Can that potentially... Switch the game in Sok's favor. Also, he's got the third stuff of Sanctuary on the Pali as well now. As if he heard me. And now Sok with three stars of Sanctuary. MK also level 4. Paladin very close to level 4. Double slippers on the Dark Ranger on the opposite end. And Cloak of Flames as well. Gives it on the DK. We take this siege engine down. Happy comes back for the expo. The helicopters are here for Sok. He's gonna target the destroyers. Can he take them down? No, that was the first coil. And now the knights are here as well. Happy with Frost Nova on them, trying to slow them down. And it works to an extent. Paladin level 4 though. Destroyers are pulling down. And Sok seems like he's feeling himself right now. He feels very confident with those items. Stoneboat on a fiend. And that's a dead fiend. Archmage chasing statue at the back. Sok is using the Star for Sanctuary. Saves three knights. And you know... One of the benefits of the Staff of Sanctuary is your units are getting healed when they get staffed back home. They can't move for a certain amount of time, but they are getting healed fully. And then they can come back yet again. That was a huge clap here from the MK, affecting the entire army. Now Stormbold, another clap. Oh my days. Guys, I think Sok is doing this. That's a dead fiend. Frost Nova on the Pali. Happy will have to try and get a hero focus. He tried the Pali. Divine Shield comes to save him. Holy Life for the AM. Now the AM gets stabbed. Uh, that's too much. That's too much. Also, heal potion consumed. And that's the GG.